Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'm San Katie 4 and welcome back to Space Quest 1, where we are on our first planet. And, well, after crash landing here, we need to figure out how to get off it. So, well, the first thing that we are going to do is... Now, if I remember correctly, I know we've got to go back, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, you know what? Let's just do it. I know there's a bit down here. Yeah, you need to be careful about that crack. And I think I only get one more chance to walk over it before it breaks. So, yeah. Let's hope that I am right about going in this cave now. Because, as I say, it's been a while since I last played this. So, I am trying to do this from, what, 20-year-old memory? Meaning it was about 20 years ago I last played it. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get down here. And. Come on. Hurry up. Shame you can't run. But, yeah, if you tell them to run, you can't run. Fine. Right. And. That is not the cave I was looking for. Oh, no, nope. up, oh, thank you. That's the cave I want. Okay. Oh, jeez, no, 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 no. Yeah, I remember, I remember, get out of there. I'm dead, I'm dead. Woo! Okay, yeah. We're dead. Um. Okay, what is it to get rid of him? Something. What have I missed? What have I missed? I picked everything up, didn't I? Um, a minute. Let's just check. Okay. Um, is it the water? Yeah. I'm, I think it's the water. Let's, as I say, so not through. Throw water. Right. Let's get that ready and lined up. In we go, and go. Yep, there we go. Or it's always in the mood for a snack. Snatches the can out of the air with his spacious oral cavities. Chews, swallows. He notices a rumbling deep within his abdomen. And, uh-oh. Boom! There we go. Ort's eyes proved to be bigger than its stomach. For once, incapable of becoming history's first living reservoir, his body succumbs to the intense internal pressure created by nearly 10 gallons of instantly reconstituted water. As a special bonus, you've received a much-needed shower. Okay, there we go. So we've had a shower and... Okay. Let's just look on floor. Oh, it's just an okay. All right, okay. Pick up all right. Okay, pick up. There we go. Took me a while to get the right um, wording for it, but it finally is all at part. Not anatomy, nothing else. It's part. Great, thanks. Okay, um, in your hand, some of it oozes. Thank you. Right, now, is that it or was there more? I can't remember. No, I think that was it. I think it was just you, wasn't it? Yep, yeah, that was it. Fine. So, let's get out of it. Back over that bridge and carry on along the path, I think. So. Okay. 
Okay, let's just check, make sure we don't die. Nope. Yeah, next time we go over, that crumbles, we fall, we die. So we're not going to be going over that anymore. And let's just keep on. There we go. Yes, making sure we don't stand too close to the edge. We wouldn't want to fall off, would we? So. Come on, keep going. Just move you up there a bit. And of course, yes, the pillars here. Thankfully, if I remember correctly, we don't actually have to do anything. Nope, it just takes us down itself. Okay. Into the hidden cave we go. And. Okay, this is where we get the next puzzle if I'm not mistaken yeah um this is a nice easy place to die and I forgot something have a night yes I have there is a rock I need to put in there to open the door where's the rock or stole something like that. Um, is it you? Look on floor. There we go. Yeah, rock. Thank you. Pick up rock. There we go. That's it. Okay. Thankfully, I didn't have to go back. I, a part of me was wondering if you had to go back to the cave or not. What well, wouldn't have been a good idea. And, yep, yeah, getting across it is... Right, wait a minute. You know what we're doing? There we go. Just do that. Now, lovely creature down here that will come up and eat us. So, oh, okay, does it automatically. That's fine. Thought you had to type something, but that's okay. Just sneak past. Right, and here comes my spelling again. So, put rock in. wrong then I don't know oh, okay right put rock in there we go okay I must have just missed a letter out or something never mind okay now we've got the yes the drip drip of acid so let's Get to the back here. I don't think there's any danger in this area. Meaning down here. Come on, where are you? There we go. Is it over to the left? Give it a minute and see. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we've got um laser beams. Okay, right. Stop there because I don't want to get killed by this. Um, use glass in beam. Oops. Okay, um, use glass. There we go. Sometimes I'm a bit too technical. It's just, thank you. Turn the bean upon itself. Frying it. There we go. Yes. Sometimes I get a bit too specific with it. But then again, if you're not specific sometimes, then it doesn't pick it up. Right. 
I remember when I first played this years and years and years ago. How long it took me just to get to this part. Right. Now this bit, hopefully my many years of gaming will do me well. Oh yeah. That's killed me so many times in the past. Easy enough to get through now, so that's fine. Okay. Don't fall off. Yeah, as I say, memories of playing this when I used to struggle at some of these most basic of tasks. Hello! A massive holographic image appears before you. You sense that you are the only life form in the area. Oh! I forgot something. No, I can't understand it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on, don't... Yeah, and I can't type anything. Okay, come on, come on. I know what you want, but unfortunately, because you're in the ability to understand the alien's language, he sent you back to the surface. Damn it. Okay, I forgot... I got it. Yeah, I think it's the gadget. Look at gadget. Yes, the translator. Right. That's fine. It's fine. Right. Let's. Well, for you, let's just speed this up, shall? Actually, no, I don't even need to. Nah, doesn't matter. Let's speed this up, shall we, for you, and get back to there. Okay, this time, before we go in, turn on, thank you, there, Ooh. as soon as you enter the room, you find yourself surrounded by darkness, suddenly you become aware of the fact that you cannot move or speak, a strange unknown force has taken over. Hello again, I can understand you now. So you have found your way to my hallowed chamber. Fortunately, there is much more to you than meets the eye. I have been monitoring your travels on our planet. It appears that you are up the proverbial estremy without a means of locomotion. Yes, I'm, I'm up the creek without a paddle. You are obviously in need of transport. Let us see if you are worthy of our assistance. On the surface lives a beast called Aurat. He proves to be a bit of annoyance on occasion. Dispose of him and bring back evidence of your conquest. Only then will I deal with your plight. Good luck. I've got it on me! It's not going to let me back down, is it? No! Five, here we go again. I should have just loaded it up last time and did it, but never mind. Oh, okay. Not let me back down. Okay. A minute. I have got it, haven't I? I did pick it up. Yeah, all right part. That's fine.
Did they have to leave the screen and come back? Was that it? Come on, where are you? No. Wait a minute, what am I missing? Yeah, because I can't go back that way. If I go back over that now, I'm dead. So this is why you need to do it. Yeah, this is why you need to get the translator off the ship at the beginning. It's why you need to kill the the Aurat before you get here. So I've done that. What am I missing? Right. Just have a quick wander around him and see. But yeah. No, it's not gonna take me back down here. Ah! I thought that was part of the Oops. Okay, never mind. Right. Okay, this time. There we go. Got it that time. Okay, maybe the death did help. Right. You drop the part to the ground. The vision is silent. You were startled by a rumbling and suddenly an oddly shaped door comes into view. There we go. Yes, let's walk in. And to be honest, if you've been monitoring me, you should have known I'd done it already. Right, okay. Come on, let me move. There we go. Please don't be alarmed. We intend no harm. We are a peaceful race. We are cautious. However, others don't share our way of life. Welcome to Corona. You are standing in the power generation facility of our underground settlement. All power here is produced by steam. That is unimportant to you. However, we have promised you transportation. Me a little speeder. Okay, skimmer them. It hovers approximately one and a half meters above the traveling surface. Yes, Grell. We haven't met Grell and we don't intend to. Grell and his like dwell in caves below the sand. If you stand on the surface too long, you chance becoming a rare moist meal for him. The skimmer is programmed to take you to a settlement on the other side of Corona called Olentz Flats. You can make further travel arrangements there. I'm sorry, this is all we can offer. I hope your trip is a safe one. Board the skimmer when you're ready. Okay, fine. And now you go off. Now, in a minute. Look at screen. It's dark, okay. Fine. It looks pretty light to me, but never mind. Okay. Right. Get on skimmer. Okay. Look at control. Hmm? 
look at skimmer then. Okay, it's a sand skimmer. It looks like it has skimmed quite a bit of sand in its time. On it is a panel which has a small readout, currently dark, and a keyhole with a key in it. Okay, use key. Okay, turn key. Jeez. Then you. you turn the key and suddenly the jet turbines begin to whir. The skimmer begins to shake beneath you as its platform slowly moves into the launch tube. You can't help but wonder what you've gotten yourself into this time. You nervously hang on. The skimmer rises slowly to the surface of the planet via a secret passage. Ooh. Okay, now we're going really old school here. Yep. Now it's time to do some dodging. Upon reaching the surface, you throttle up and zoom off into the sunset. Yep. The settlement on the horizon, what's that white line right above me at the top of the screen there? Yep. Right, now. Oh, okay, them ones are okay. Out. No, it's not. I've got to dodge. I just went into that. No, watch out, watch out. Keep moving, keep moving. No, damn it, one more and I'm dead. I really should have saved it. Yeah. Okay. I swear I'm going to do an episode of this without dying. Okay, this time we're going to do it. Me. Keep over to one side. Was this the thing all the time? You just go over to the left and stay there. I can't remember. Yeah, I think the left actually was pretty safe. That or I've just got lucky with it this time. There we go. Oh, it's got a little bit bigger on the horizon there. No, no, I've just been really, really lucky so far. Okay. Just keep an eye out in case anything comes flying at me. Okay, we've got up to level two now on the horizontal buildings. Okay, just keep an eye. Reactions are good. No. Oh. Okay, we've done it. We got through that time. Good. After a truly stone crunching journey, you have miraculously arrived safely and just in time to because the skimmer's power cell has been drained. It would take some time to recharge itself. This place isn't quite what you expected it is, but semi bleak is best. Okay. So. There we go, we have made it to the settlement, so get off skimmer, there we go. Yep, yeah, we are done, and you're going to come and want to buy it off me, aren't you? This is a genuine Falcon Sand skimmer, I've been looking for one, just like it, I wonder if you would accept 30 bookazoids. Um, yes. Glad we could come to a business. Take that. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you say no or just walk off, he just steals it anyway. So, and the fact that, you know, it's just died on me. I don't think he's going to be getting too far. But anyway, as I was saying, we'll end it there for today because I've died too many times. I will determine to have an episode where I don't die. But... We'll see if that is next time, and we'll see if we can make it to our next destination. But in the meantime, I've been Sam Casey 4 this has been Space Quest 1. Thank you so much for joining me, look after each other, and until next time, goodbye!